and beyond the fact that they are taking part of the, um, the visualization away by hiring Blackwater and, and you see multinational corporations probably going to do those kind of private armies in the future. You have a sense of that beginning to happen now. But who is our army? Can you, can you talk more about Kimberly, the people Evan, that are fighting the war? Sure. I mean, you know, I can say that when my brother signed up, it was highly unusual for, you know, educated Jewish, you know, white people to have, you know, family and friends in the military. So all my friends were completely shocked. Um, and as I kind of got to know my brother's friends, I have to say they were basically middle of the country, a lot of Texans. Um, was this post 9-11? Is that when he enlisted? Absolutely. Yeah, post 9-11, they were going, you know, because they believed that they were going to get revenge. Um, they were going to catch the people who did this. Um, it definitely, you know, was more middle of the country, most of the people that he, you know, fought with. And I think like you were alluding to, it's, you know, we have this war going on and most of us don't know about it because it's, there's a certain group of the population that is fighting it. And that again, because it's, it's a volunteer army and people who are in the army are married to people in the army and, I mean, very working class, you know, middle of the country. That's kind of, you know, what I found. And, and oddly enough, like we all talked about the different responses, you know, when I went to the middle of the country, you know, they had a problem a little bit with him not, you know, arguing the stop loss, but they really related, which was really interesting to find that there are whole bastions of cultures where military life is an economic choice. It's, you know, it's educational choice. It's an educational choice. I went to a couple, you know, a number of towns where everybody had somebody who was in the military, and that's completely unusual to what, you know, the lives that we're living. So there's a real bifurcation in terms of who's in and, and who's out.